Welcome to our YouTube channel Command Line. In this video series, we are going to learn what every programmer should know about memory. This video series is based on the document written by Ulrich Trepper. This document is a highly respected one in programmer's world. This is 144 page length and I was amazed with the amount of details and explanation he has given in this paper. That's why I considered converting this document into a video series for better benefit of programmers. This was initially published as a multi-part article in LWN.net. As you can see, this was published in the year of 2007. Though it is 15 years old document, all the details in this document is going to be helpful for every programmers even now. With more and more abstract languages coming every day, this document becomes more and more relevant. Ulrich Drepper is a distinguished engineer in Red Hat. When he wrote this paper, he was working with Red Hat. Later, he moved to Goldman Sachs and then he came back to Red Hat again in 2017. This is the abstract from the paper. I want to highlight one particular sentence from this abstract. Unfortunately, neither the structure nor the cost of using the memory of subsystem of a computer or the caches on CPUs is well understood by most programmers. That's why there are plenty of programs out there underutilizing the hardware they are running and putting most pressure on the system. The motivation behind this paper is educating those programmers. Earlier days, computers were manufactured by a single company and they were released as a single component. But over a period, hardware standards were evolved and different components were started manufacturing by different companies. Nowadays, the motherboards, CPUs, RAMs, hard disks, everything were manufactured by different companies. So each company focuses on only on the component they were manufacturing. Because of that, the latency between different components have grown way higher. If we take a typical PC in today's world, the latency between different components goes in this way. The CPU at the top will respond in 1-2 cycles. The hard disk at the bottom responds in 50,000 cycles. To understand it better, let's try to consider the cycle as 1 second. In that case, if the CPU asks the hard disk for one data, the data will come back to CPU after 15 hours. So if a programmer doesn't write a better code, the CPU will spend most of its time in waiting cycles. This document is written for software developers and particularly for Linux software developers. In the introduction section, Ulrich Stepper mentions it is specifically written for Linux system. And he even tells that if you want the same document, same kind of document for any other system, you should contact their vendor. In the first section, we are going to learn technical details of the RAM. Though this is marked as optional sections, I, I strongly recommend you to understand the hardware behind the RAM because knowing this is going to help you in lot many ways when you do actual when you actually do the programming and debugging. In second section, we are going to learn the CPU cache behavior. And then we are going to learn the virtual memory implementation in Linux system. Then we will learn about NUMA, non-uniform memory access. As RAM becomes a bottleneck of a system, recent computer architecture came up with this NUMA architecture. It means every CPU will have its own memory module. In that case, to access the near memory and the far memory, the cost is going to be different. That's why we should learn what is NUMA and how this is implemented. And next section is the core of this particular paper. What every programmer should learn are to do to improve the performance. Here we are going to apply all the concepts we have learned so far and try to write a better code to better utilize the hardware. And next section we are going to learn about some tools which we are going to help in improving the performance. And lastly we are going to learn some expected improvements in the hardware in coming future. Knowing this is going to help you design our future software better. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel to get the full course.